Hi guys! Welcome to the Brainy Buzz channel. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel. Why you should never swap seats on a plane. So make sure to watch the full video. Sometimes, our staff gets really riled up about travel etiquette. In fact, a dispute over whether or not you should take your shoes off on a flight is what prompted this debate series in the first place. Things got personal. Since then, we've taken sides over airplane food, reusing your hotel towel, and whether toddlers should be allowed in business class. We also had a spirited head-to-head -head debate last year about how far courtesy extends on a flight, namely, if you should feel obligated to give up your seat if someone asks. Should you really be expected to move for that couple who wants to sit together but didn't book or check in on time to do so? Or what about the business traveler who couldn't get an aisle seat, but really dislikes sitting by the window? And no gear? Would you? Would you mind? Clearly, our editors are divided. Don't budge. See, before you ask me if I'm willing to move, you should know that I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just a nervous flyer, thanks to a past flight during which my plane was struck by lightning. It's taken me years to figure out my sweet spot on a plane and I get very strategic about sitting there in order to stay calm and cool. Hint, it's not in the back of the plane, where turbulence is often roughest. But even if I wasn't a nervous flyer, economy seats are no longer one in the same, nor do they translate to even Steven swaps. Seat Guru tells us so, long haul flights prove it true. And lately, the price of the increasingly prevalent premium economy seat attaches a real cost to the difference. When I see a couple walk down a plane aisle to their respective middle seats, three rows apart, I don't feel pity. I think it's amateur hour. When one member of said couple then approaches me asking to switch my aisle seat for their middle seat, the answer is sorry, no. The first thing I do after buying a flight, if the option isn't given to me during the booking process, is call the airline and get my aisle seat squared away. It takes minutes and anyone with a little foresight can and should do it. Even if that doesn't work out, or you forget, if you check in early enough, you should be able to get your preferred seat. With all those options, to expect another person to give up the seat they prepared for, paid a whole lot of money for, is presumptuous. Of course, I'm not a monster. If a child finds herself alone and scared next to a stranger, me, I'll offer up my seat, but I won't be happy about it. Here's a travel tale of mine that irks me now as much as it did when it happened four years ago. I was traveling solo, headed to Rio de Janeiro for the first and possibly only time in my life. I'd heard of Rio's epic, Eden-esque fly and appeal, that the city's beaches, blue ocean, and jagged emerald hills are as spectacular to see during your descent as they are when you're on the ground. So I booked myself a window seat and made sure it wasn't over that horrendous view obstructor that it is the wing tip Always do this if you can. Before takeoff, a lady walked over and asked that she take my seat so she could sit next to my seat mate, her husband. What she offered me would be two rows back in the middle section, away from a window, and next to a family with three kids under the age of seven. The magnum opus of bad seats. I felt awkward saying no, so I agreed and spent the flight shooting the woman, her shoes off, legs stretched over her hubby. The evil eye and feeling, maybe a little too, sorry for myself. To make it worse, she and her husband were from Rio, so that view that was a one time only for me didn't even register with her. It comes back to one simple rule, unless you can say, objectively and unequivocally, that you are offering this stranger an upgrade, and of course, assuming it isn't a necessary request, i.e., you and your small child would be separated otherwise. You can't ask to swap seats, period. Had a seat on a flight from Miami to New York. A couple traveling with their child was in a panic because they hadn't been able to book three seats in a row. An economy was sold out. I offered up my aisle seat and volunteered to sit in a middle seat they had been forced to book due to a lack of options. A minute after I squeezed into my new spot, a flight attendant came and grabbed my carry-on out of the overhead bin. Come with me, he said gesturing to the front of the plane. I enjoyed a first-class flight home. Karma is real, folks. On a flight from Miami to New York, 
A couple traveling with their child was in a panic because they hadn't been able to book three seats in a row, and economy was sold out. I offered up my aisle seat and volunteered to sit in a middle seat they had been forced to book due to a lack of options. A minute after I squeezed into my new spot, a flight attendant came and grabbed my carry-on out of the overhead bin. Come with me, he said, gesturing to the front of the plane. I enjoyed a first-class flight home. Carmen is real, folks. I've learned one very important, life-changing lesson in the past years since having a baby. Everything is out of my control. No matter how carefully I plan, micromanage, or pre-book, shit happens, sometimes, literally, and I have to roll with it. So, when I board my first flight with an infant in December, I suspect something will come up. A minimal town, say, or a need to get up and down 10 times. And I'll have to rely on the kindness of strangers to endure. In exchange, if I'm in a position to make your life a little easier, while we're all trapped in this tube in the sky, I'll do so. Now, I have to be in a position to do so. I can't give up my bulkhead seat with the infant bassinet because you have long legs. That's where I draw the line. Kindness can come with terms, can it? Should you ask to switch seats on a plane? Yes, because really, what's the worst thing someone will say? No, and maybe that person was looking for the aisle seat when you have their coveted window seat. I rarely do ask, but tend to make the leap on long haul and red eye flights where window helps me sleep better and generally feel more comfortable. I'd always ask someone a few aisles back as I feel like they also get an advantage in moving up. So win-win. No one has said no yet. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go.